Welcome, friends, to a closer look. We're going to take a look at International's coatings, paramount white, high opaque, low bleed white. For polyester, it is a flex cure ink. You can use it on a wide variety of substrates. The first thing that's most impressive when you open the container, you don't have to add anything to it. Right out of the container, it is very creamy. Do not add sugar reducer, you don't need it. This is a medium viscosity ink, it is beautiful. First thing we're gonna take a look at, we're gonna do three separate prints. We're gonna take a look at just how it cleans the screen. I'm gonna print on a good test print on a black palette. Make it the ink nice and flowing through the screen. Then we're gonna print on a Gildan 100% cotton. And then last, we're going to print on a Bella Canvas Tri-Blend Cardinal shirt. So stay tuned, watch the whole video. This should be a lot of fun. We're using a 110 mesh. This mesh is coated two and two with the fat side, the thick side of the scoop coater. We want to have a decent EOM, stencil thickness. You don't want to be coating one time, you don't put a thick enough stencil, you're not going to get any ink deposit. We're using a 70 durometer squeegee. We're going to do our flood stroke. We can see our image. We're going to get behind it. And I'm going to do a nice just double stroke. One of the nicest things when you come forward here, take a look, it's going to be how it cleans the screen. Look at that. We don't have a lot of ink residue. Cleans very, very nicely. And here is our print on Black Pella. Now you could get by with that. We are still, we're going to talk about that again in a minute. A big fan of print flash print, but this is a pylon, very easy to cover on. But you saw how easy that it did clean the screen. Next, we're going to come and print on the 100% hot. We're going to do the exact same flood print stroke. Once again, the ink has cleaned the screen very nicely. We don't have a lot of residue behind. And here oh, is our starting print. Now this ink is a performance ink or fast flashing. So when you are flashing, you want to be careful that you do not over flash. If you flash for too long or too high of a temperature, you can actually cause the ink to become tacky. Get after tack. Otherwise, there will not be any after tack. This is a 120 volt flash. The pallets are cold. It's going to take somewhere around 8 to 10 seconds. For the first, once it gets going, it will flash faster than that. Now being a flex cure ink, this ink will cure at 270 to 325 degrees. So depending on what kind of substrate that you are printing on, going to affect what temperature that you choose. Now, like with all flex cure inks, you do want to cure them a little slower. You do not want to try to ram them with a lot of heat. Um, on anything that is 50-50, tri-blend, 100% polyester, you increase the chances of dye migration. You want to slow it down, slow your belt speed down, 60 seconds plus, down there and keep that ink down in that 300 degree range or lower. And we're just going to come back and do our next flood. And a nice double stroke. And there is our print on the Gildan G500. Now this ink is designed to go through a 60 to a 230 mesh, depending on the amount of opacity and the bleed resistance that you want. 
so far my favorite mesh counts and this can be 110 to 155 if i'm doing vector work and especially if i'm doing vector and i need bleed resistance when you get up into the higher mesh counts thinner ink layer you are minimizing the amount of bleed resistance that you have so you got to lower your temperature to be careful on that so we will run this through the big red 4d dryer by vastex it's going to be in there about 45 seconds Mm -hmm. and while we that shirt dries i'm going to load our bella canvas for our next print so we'll keep an eye on this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice, sharp, crisp edges to the white. We'll let this cool down for just a second. You also, because it does have a medium viscosity, you want to watch pressure. Too much pressure, you're going to drive the ink through the garment, and that will actually cause you to lose opacity it also causes your print to be heavier and rubbery all you need is enough pressure for that ink to clean the screen let's go take a look at bella canvas tri blend okay so now we're going to print the bella canvas tri blend shirt exact same print stroke We'll lift up, take a look, and see. Now on the tri-blend, definitely print, flash, print. I'm a fan of always print, flash, print. I think you get a better result for a print, softer print. You're not laying down as much ink, and you get a crisper edges. So now we'll flash this again. About 90 degrees here in Georgia today, so... We're enjoying the heat and humidity. Not really. <clears throat> okay. palette is a little warm if you are not aware you do not want to print on a hot palette print flash print you want to let the, the ink cool down go around we're just doing this for testing purposes otherwise if I was doing this in production I would let the shirt go all the way around if you print on a hot palette you will start getting the ink tacky in the screen and it will start not wanting to clear around the edges and start making your print rough around the edges and textured in the center and we're just going to do two more strokes. <sighs> there we go. Once again, we look. Ink has cleaned very, very nicely. And there is our surface. Very smooth. No fibrillation. Sharp edges. Bright white. Let's run this down the dryer and see how the Paramount White by International Coatings does on Tri-Blend.
Now we're in the chamber approximately 50 to 55 seconds. And the white came out. Right now we have no dye migration. White still looks beautiful, nice and bright. International Coatings Paramount White. There is no one white for everybody, but if you are looking for a very soft creamy white that you can use on a wide variety of materials, and, and you are willing to control your belt speed and your temperature depending on the subject that you're printing on, on here, this is a fantabulous white. On here, check it out at colormatrix.com or give us a call 800-935-2121 and we will help you find the perfect ink for your production needs. Thanks for watching.